Well, that's it guys, the show is over. It looks like telework is setting off into the sunset. At least it was great while it lasted. That is what all the headlines would have you believe. OPM announced an end to the use of maximum telework. And it's been over three years since maximum telework was implemented. I remember sitting at my desk in Washington DC, somebody walking by saying, hey, you gotta pack it up, you have to leave. I said, leave where? He said, you, you gotta go to the house. But now government agencies and private companies are under continued pressure to get people back into the office. Now for many of us, working at home has been great. It has opened up a lot of new possibilities, but there are a lot of reasons why it can't continue. First, you have a lot of local economies that have been negatively impacted. When you have government workers walking around a town or a city, they're gonna be spending their money. So small businesses have been taking a hit and there's a lot of politicians that are putting pressure to get government workers back in their office. Also, management simply wants the control back. You can hear it in DC. I hear people talking saying, I wanna, I wanna add a couple more positions to this office. I wanna hire some more people, but make sure you don't have telework in the job announcement. Make sure that there's no CWS option for the worker. CWS is compressed work schedule. There are a lot of leaders that are eager to get back to the old way of doing things. And then you have those people that just really like to be in the office setting. They, they really want to see their coworkers face to face. They feel like they're more productive there. They can get more done. They can build the team in a better fashion. There are some good parts about it, but it comes with a loss of freedom and a loss of time. One of the reasons that many workers dread going back to the office, it has to be the commute. It has to be the traffic, the soul crushing traffic that you're sitting in. And if you live in a city that has over 100,000 people, you know exactly what I'm talking about. And it's not just the traffic, it's the tolls, it's the car maintenance. Most people who work in DC, in the DC area, they don't live in DC. And a lot of them don't live in Virginia or Maryland. We have people driving in three, four hours from West Virginia, from Pennsylvania, from Delaware. And if these guys are ever required to start being at the office every day, that's gonna put a lot of pressure on them. A lot of them are gonna have to quit and look for something else, or they're gonna have to move closer to DC, which is a lot more expensive. There's this one guy that I know that works for the government in DC. He comes into the office once a week. The other four days he's at home. The problem is he lives in Florida. So he flies once a week. He's flying from Florida. In a month, it costs him about $800, $900 to do this, but he's still willing to do it. Why? Because his salary here for his GS grade, it is so much higher than it would be in Florida. And he's been doing this for 10 months. So OMB's exact wording on this issue is increase meaningful in-person work at federal agencies. But what does that mean? Almost any type of work you're doing has some type of meaning to it. Does that mean everyone has to come back into the office because everyone's doing meaningful work? Well, we don't know because the 19 page memo that OMB put out, it didn't say when, when do employees have to be back into the office. It doesn't mention a date and it doesn't mention any type of exception. Like these are the cases where a federal agency can use telework. It doesn't mention that either. So every federal agency is gonna to have to do a self-assessment and figure out what works best for them, create their own timeline essentially. This could mean that the USDA wants 75% of their people back in the office. And then you look at Department of Education, they only want 25%. People forget that telework has been around long before the pandemic. Take severe weather, for example. If there was a snowstorm about to hit DC, agencies would emphasize teleworking to its employees. And we also rehearsed for emergency type scenarios, contingency plans. There would be a day dedicated to, hey, we're gonna, we're gonna go ahead and role play and pretend that a disaster occurred. Everyone stay at home and telework. Also, people in the office were able to telework once or twice a week. And a lot of it was tied around seniority. So if you were a new employee coming into the agency, you wouldn't be allowed to. Some people even consider probation time that time you would have to be in the office after probation, you would get one day a week. It varies from agency to agency. It would depend on your supervisor. But I had coworkers before the pandemic, I had coworkers that were teleworking twice a week. Another thing that we're seeing is the unions getting a little concerned. They're getting a little upset. 
If you're a federal government employee, you've seen those emails more than likely. And they have fiery language in there really advocating for the employee to have or to continue with the teleworking. So it's going to be interesting to see how this whole thing pans out. But to give you my experience, there hasn't been a lot of quick reaction to this OMB policy memo. A lot of agencies are taking their time and it's going to depend on the agency leadership. They're going to do whatever they feel is best. Here's one thing though, when it comes to teleworking, when it comes to 100% remote work, I do not think that it's going away in its entirety anytime soon or at all. There are a lot of benefits and it fits a lot of situations. So I think it will remain. People ask me all the time, hey, do you think it's ending? Is it gonna end? When is it gonna end? I do not think it's gonna end. It will be scaled back to a certain degree, but it will continue. All right, if you're watching this and you're looking for a new government job, there are some places that people are not looking and there's jobs there. And if you wanna know about these hidden jobs, I want you to watch this video next. If you would like to see more videos like this, please click like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.